All right, this next one is going to be an arm drag with, you know, the anticipation of having that Greco finish. However, this time, for whatever reason, he's able to get his arm out and leads me into this body lock, double underhook position. Okay, so first contact. Same thing, everything's the same, right? Keeping my first contact, I drag. Now, he's able to get that arm out somehow, right? I'm not gonna worry about that, okay? I still drag, look at where my hands are, okay? If I end up here, for some reason that's fine too, but I'm gonna talk a lot about pulling and cinching with a lot of these moves. So I end up here in this double underhook position, right? What I wanna do is finish my arm drag or the same movement that I had before. So I'm gonna take my hands here, cinch, and change my levels as I cinch on his back, hips in. Look at how it elevates his back leg. Now, all I gotta do is uh, corkscrew and take a big step, boom, taking him either straight down to his back, or if he bellies out, you still get your points. Okay, one more time. So let's just have you facing this way just so they can see my lock. Your back, that's what I'm saying. So look, watch my lock. I drag, he gets his arm through. Look at where my hand is. It's already cinched. That's natural, my movement. So I'm gonna come, I like the finger grip, or my fingertip grip right here. If you prefer this traditional like gable grip, it's up to you. But finger grip, I'm already cinched. Now I'm just gonna change my levels, hips through, look at his back leg as I corkscrew him down, big step, all the way down to the mat. Okay, that's gonna be scenario based, based on how your opponent reacts to your arm drag. So give that one.